Chapter 14, Introduction to Measurement, Statistics, and Quality, Part 2 of 2. Engineering Applications of Statistics. One resolute truth exists in manufacturing. It costs just as much to make a bad part as it does to make a good part. The most important difference between a good part and a bad part is that a manufacturer can sell bad parts. Can't sell bad parts. They're waste. Accuracy and Precision. Accuracy or how close your values are to a true value, or precision, how close your values are to each other. Here's kind of an example. So the values aren't close to each other, and they're also not close to the middle, so they're not accurate or precise. Um, down here, you can see how they're close together, so they're precise, but then they're also close to the target, so they're accurate. Here, uh, they're close together, so they're precise, but they're far away from the target, so they're not accurate. Sources of error in data. Calibration. The process of checking and adjusting a measuring device against the standard, preferably on a regular basis. Improper selection of a measuring tool. And human error. Or an incorrect act or decision made by a person through either ignorance or accident. Variation is normal. If the average size of a sample group falls above or below a control limit, then it is appropriate to make an adjustment to the machine that has produced the parts. A control limit is upper and lower limits that are established through st statistical calculations. The four rules. There are four rules that are associated with variation in manufacturing. Number one, no two objects can be made to identical dimensions. Number two, Variation can be measured assuming that a well-trained person is correctly using the appropriate well-calibrated tool. Number three, individual outcomes of a manufacturing process cannot be accurately predicted. And number four, groups of data from a normal process will form patterns that can be used to make accurate predictions regarding the behavior of that process. Attribute and variable data. There are two types of data. Attribute data is yes or no, good or bad, go or no go the degree of accuracy is not considered. Variable data falls within an acceptable range of values. This is the type of data that is associated with dimensional measurements and tolerances as seen on engineering drawings. A tolerance is an acceptable amount of dimensional variation that will still allow an object to function correctly. Coding data. Coding is a technique that is used by quality engineers to make numbers easier to work with and more manageable. Process capability. Process capability would be determined based on calculations made from the data. The term process capability is a measure of the data distribution and reflects the ability of the process to produce parts within the blueprint. Six standard deviations, three above and three below the mean, encompass 99% of the data that is collected from a process that is considered to be normal. Process capability formula is the total blueprint tolerance divided by six standard deviations. Process capability. If a CP value is above 1.33, then the process used to produce the parts is going to do so with the blueprint tolerance. If a CP value is between 1 and 1.3, then it is characterized as not so good or not so bad. If a CP value is below 1, it is considered poor. Control charts and statistical process control. Statistical process control involves the collection of data for the purpose of process improvement, such as producing products with less variation. Control charts are used in statistical process control methods to chart process performance. X bar R chart. A type of control chart used in manufacturing is the X bar slash R chart. This is used to show the average of part sample subgroups, 3 to 10 samples in the subgroup, and the range of those samples. Three rules should be followed when sampling data from a machine or process to create an X-bar R chart. Number one, the process should be running optimally with no chance causes of variation. Number two, an appropriate part characteristic, such as a specific part diameter, must be selected. Do not compare different geometric features. And number three, the process must not be changed in any way during the study. Once an X-bar R chart has been generated, Three circumstances may occur that would warrant adjusting the process. Number one, if a plotted point falls outside an upper or lower statistical limit, then an adjustment must be made. Number two, if seven average values in a row are on one side of the process average center line, 
Then the process average has shifted and the process would need to be adjusted. Or number three, if seven average values in a row trend up or down, then an adjustment would be needed. Please answer the following questions in your notebook. Number one, why is, it, why is having a standard system of measurement important? Number two, what is quality and why is it so important to the engineering world? Number three, why is it important to have a standard of measurement? Number four, why do scientists use scientific notation? And number five, how did Japan change its reputation for producing low quality products?